the support of Windows XP is coming to an end, but it doesn't mean that you can't stop using Windows XP inside a virtual machine. So VirtualBox is a free bit of software that allows you to basically run another operating system within another operating system. So I have Windows 7, for example, and I'm going to run Windows XP from within Windows 7. So after I installed the uh, Oracle virtual machine tool here called VirtualBox and launch it, I'm going to show you how I created this Windows XP virtual machine, basically. Now, it doesn't have to be a, a Windows XP, but in my case, I'm showing that as an example. You can see here that there's different types of operating systems that you can choose from to create a virtual machine from. You will need the installation media, though, to run that virtual machine, obviously. So I have the Windows XP CD that I'm going to be using to basically create this Windows um, XP virtual machine. I'm going to call this uh, video um, uh, tutorial basically for this Windows XP virtual machine. So I selected that when I created, clicked on new. Now it's going to ask me how much memory of what I have currently installed on my machine, on my PC, do I want to allocate. So every time I run this virtual machine of Windows XP, I'm going to say I'm going to use one gig of my eight gigs that I have installed. Um, so that's good enough. Then it's going to ask me to create a virtual hard drive and um, 2 gigs is enough to install Windows XP and install some additional software that I want to do. So I'm going to just go through that and select those options as it asks me. You can create a fixed drive if you want but I'm going to choose the dynamic one. And um, after I've done that, now basically I can start it. Now you can also go into the settings by right clicking on it and going to settings and adjusting what you want running, what you want connecting, setting itself up to be basically enabled. So under system, for example, you can specify again how much memory you want. Do you want it to connect to the network? Uh, do you have a floppy drive? No, I don't. So I can take things off. So you can tweak it, obviously. Go through the settings and tweak exactly how you want it. Maybe you have several processors. You want to run a couple of processors whenever you run Windows XP or in my case one CPU is good enough and uh, you can enable 3D acceleration and so forth. So it's nice to be able to control a little bit how much you want to um, allocate, how much you want this Windows XP to have of your machine, so to take advantage of all that. So it's good to do that and uh, I suggest you go through the settings and um, select what you want enabled or you can just run it as a test with the defaults. There's also an option to enable your shared drive, so whatever you save on your a virtual machine in a specific folder you can access from within Windows 7 for example and save your settings now it has the option there to start what I just created that virtual machine and it's gonna ask me to put in the um, CD basically for Windows XP and I already have the uh, ISO image mounted so I'm just referencing that ISO image in here and starting the installation of Windows XP that's the first step to setting up this virtual machine. So you have to install Windows XP first. So after I go through the regular installation of Windows XP, this is just like you would on a brand new machine. You just install it as you would. It will ask you for the key, obviously, the serial number for Windows XP. And once it's done, that's it. Now you see I have this Windows XP uh, option here, which if I right click on it, I can create a shortcut on my desktop. And that's what I did earlier. And then if I double click on that shortcut, it basically launches Windows XP. And you're going to see that right now launching. And it's very fast, of course. One CPU running at 4.6 gigahertz, um, you know, one uh, gig of RAM, more than enough. I have a, a really fast hard drive. So things are going to be really smooth, really fast within Windows 7. And you can see here that I'm running um, Windows XP, Service Pack 3, flawlessly very nicely and smooth using VirtualBox and uh, there's other virtual machine softwares out there but this one's free easy to use you can see that I set it up in just a couple of minutes it's not hard and um, as long as you have the installation media the CD for Windows XP and the serial number you'll be able to do it no problems now again you can use this for other types of operating systems it doesn't have to be for Windows XP but that's what this tutorial is for comment below let me know what you think, and again, thank you for watching.